Hey guys, Bill Kennedy again today and got another simpler painting like last time. Um, really getting into doing these. They're pretty cool, fun to do. But anyway, I'm going to get a little tutorial up going for y'all. If you're new to our channel, you know we're all about teaching you how to create better and more explosive artworks. In this case, simpler artworks as well. So anyway, if you like what you're seeing, you can always hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, leave us a like when you get done at the end of the video. And if you don't like it, hey, you know, the other thumb works just fine. But anyway, we're going to get to the video. Let's do it. All right, guys. So like last time, if you've seen the last video with the tiger, I came in here and laid up a little bit of color in the background, uh, put some blue in, um, you know, did my splatter effect for my stars, put some brown in the middle, and yeah, didn't seem it was that important to save too much of that. Um, after I got done with that, I put a big moon up in there, just used a round piece of actually tape roll, and then I kind of sketched out in chalk just a rough outline of the way my stuff's going to go. I came in with my blacks, worked on that. Notice your nostril is your deepest, the deep, deepest part, which makes it darker. I'm gonna come in here, hit some of them dark spots, fill in inside the mouth. Um, later you'll see on that mouth that the way it creates that depth, you wanna get darkest in the very back of it and let it blend out towards the edge of the mouth. So pay attention to that, that there's a gradient in there. Um, a little bit of shading around there, great, a little bit of shading from the nose. We're gonna have, I wanna have bright light coming from the front, so there'll be a lot of shadows going on. Notice how I put in some blacks in the chin. Then I'm just going through here and I am very, very roughly putting some strokes in, in the general shape and direction of flow of how I want my fur to lay out. Um, not a whole lot of it, just a little bit, just give me some rough guidelines. Then I came in here with my white, which is an opaque white, and regular Createx as a matter of fact and start laying out and again we are just following rough in general direction of flow I'm just getting some background texture in here first um, you know the hairs on a wolf is long and flowy so that's kind of what we're doing we're just putting long flowy strokes in there really really simple techniques here very and it's all all free form you know, I pulled out some texture tools, thought I might use some texture tools, but really it was just as easy for me just to keep uh, free form in this. Notice how I'm putting it uh, lightening up around the outside edges because the light is going to direct off of your fur. All right, then I'm uh, coming in on the outer edge. As you can see, I'm going to get um, you know, really laying that white in pretty heavy on the outer edges because as the moonlight would shine off of that, of course, it would create that uh, bright light. Then again, we're still following along with the direction of flow. Um, you know, create that depth. So we're going to have multiple layers in here, but these are really, really quick um, and easy strokes. So uh, as you can tell, I'm not really even getting concerned with feathering out those edges. And get really, really bright to the outer edge because I definitely want that um, illusion that the sunlight is hitting the edge of the fur and causing that to light up. And that's pretty much, uh, you know, that's going to come standard across any any time you are backlit. You're going to have that hair is going to be lit up at the very edge of the hair. Um, Got my camera off a little bit so you can't see. I've now brought my black in and I'm filling in those nostrils a little bit. And then I'm going to shade out. And I want you to pay attention to the shade. Anytime you have a shadow, your shadow is going to be darkest where it begins. And then it's going to gradient out. So you're about to see me do that uh, on the side. Plus there's, you know, fur with animals is not going to be a solid white, obviously. So you're going to have whites and grays and mixes and colors going in there. So see how I'm blending that gradient out. Then I'm coming along around that mouth and adding some black in around there, darkening it in. Again, there's a gradient where I'm on the inside. It gradients from the white highlight where the sunlight is catching it 
towards the inside of the mouth gets lighter and then as it fades away it gets darker deep in the mouth it gets darker again notice how easy that eye is when they're closed eyes like that now I'm coming in and just adding some dots they always have those little pores right there where the whiskers come out at the top underneath the nose that's pretty much uh, normal with tigers lions wolves dogs cats pretty much any furry animal is going to have some of those lines like that of course once again i'm going another layer here i'm using my black um you know just not going full depth with my black so i'm not creating complete intensity and just creating some jerk grays in there and we're again following the direction general direction of flow we're not getting too crazy with worried about where anything goes um, there's going to be some things in this picture that i would have done entirely different had i planned it out but i kind of just went along and adjusted this picture to be what i thought it should be as i went along so um had i planned this picture out or been working off of full reference of course it would have been done a little bit differently notice how i will darken in directly under that ear and that's what's going to give you the illusion that the ear is forward versus being flat and then i'm filling in darkening in inside the ear which gives that illusion again that there is a depth inside the ear versus it just being flat so as you deepen and get darker things are going to be pushed back they're going to appear further in the distance came in here and now I'm taking some burnt sienna and I'm just covering some color just throwing color I am paying attention to the direction of my flow but I'm not getting too crazy with it um, you can see and this burnt sienna is going to do a couple things for me is it's going to kill any of that blue shift that's happening in the colors from using the white over the top as well as create extra dimension and depth You'll notice that I put a little bit of red around the moon and then I added a lot of blue to the background. Um, had I decided I was gonna do that dark, as dark as I did um, when I started, I wouldn't have done it that way. So after I get my blue in background and I get the moon, get the edge of the moon red, I'm gonna put a little bit of white in that moon as well. But now I start putting in some whiskers, and then I'm going in there and starting to touch up, mainly focusing on the outer edge to get that much brighter tone to make it get that impression that it is backlit like we talked about earlier, following the same general principles that we did earlier, paying attention to where light would hit it, and then just working on our fur flowing uh, long flowing strokes and just following the direction once again so we're basically repeating what we did earlier but now that we have the sienna underneath it that keeps that white from pushing to the gray and helps brighten it up or keeps it from pushing to the blue tones and helps it look much much brighter on top of that plus we've got paint we got a pretty good bit of paint so um, you know that helps cover the canvas then i'm going to put a little bit of white cloud-like textures in the background uh, nothing crazy here you'll see i'm just using the edge of that uh, freehand shield of mine to add in some things throw in i put some black right around the outer edge of the wolf and then i'm putting my little furs random furs and then I'm going through and touching up and cleaning up the fur on the inside, adding where we need to. You notice I used my shield there to get that even brighter. Get another layer in there. Go in and touch up the teeth. As you saw, I put those little shadows. Then I'm going to come along with some black. And I want to just touch up my black where I need to. Um, put a vignette kind of edging around that left hand side and the bottom side to let that blend out make the wolf really stand out there and then I'm going to take my black while I got it in there and I will just touch up a couple little things right around the mouth 
and any darks that I need to see follow along and just do any cleanup that I need to do all right guys appreciate y'all stopping by anyway I hope you got something out of video today and you know these are really informative you know doing these you know no reference style video or pictures um, really learn a lot it's easy for me to copy a piece of artwork um, you know there's a whole different skill involved in creating something kind of out of your head anyway we appreciate y'all stopping by we'll see you next time bye